Concord has sold just 25,000 copies. Now let's look at that and break it down. So if we go f if apparently 10,000 units on Steam, so if we take what? 5,000 of them as influenced, paid for, given free codes, probably half of them refunded. Uh, I can imagine it has sold about 15,000 on PlayStation. But even if it was 25,000 copies, that is abysmal. Not only is it abysmal, but as I keep saying, and I will keep saying, selling a game to the modern audience. The modern audience. There is your modern audience. That is your modern audience. 25,000 people. Who do you blame for this? Now they blame everybody, but the modern audience they made it for, the people they made it for that don't turn out and buy it. It's the same with um, the Acolyte. Everybody's moaning. Oh, why have you cancelled it? Because it was made for a modern audience. And the modern audience that they made it for didn't turn out and watch it. And I'll tell you for why. Because the modern audience just doesn't exist. They're not the majority. They're the very minority of people begging for stuff that nobody else wants. Nobody. I'll explain it over and over again. Most gamers know what they want. It's just, they just want fun. They don't need life explaining to them when they're trying to play a game. It's just beyond me. Beyond me. But 25,000 copies, really. That is really sad. Whilst we can't track real-time player numbers on PlayStation, right now there are just 71 players online on Steam. It's highest concurrent player count in the last 24 hours. Well, I know some of them are just people on YouTube playing it for fun, so you don't have to. Literally. It's ranked 147th on the US PS5 Daily Active Players. 0.2% on Monday's Active PS5 Players. It just... Bill Burr once said, when he was talking about the WBM, the women's basketball, he was saying you can't blame men, you have to blame women, because it's women that don't go and turn up and watch it. You can't ask men to watch their game and watch the women's game, we've already got a game to watch and it's better than the women's game, so why would men go and watch the women's game? And it's the same for gaming, it literally is the same for gaming, you can't blame gamers not turning out to buy a game that's not made for them it's made it's made for a modern audience but again the modern audience does not exist and it's just, it's just the way it is it really is it's not hard to comprehend it's just we gave the hero shooter a three out of five stars You know, I've heard that the, the, the actual gameplay isn't that bad. I've heard it's quite smooth and stuff. But you can't rely... Sometimes you can't rely on just the basics, you know. Sometimes you have to give it a little pizzazz. And not force things down people's throat. The moment that this... I saw on the menu screen that they put pronouns in the on the character. You've already lost the audience. You've lost the main audience that don't want politics throwing down the net. It's ridiculous. I mean, I feel sorry for the people that have made it, to be honest with you. You know, they, they probably have put a lot of time and effort into it. But, again, if you're going to sell a game to a particular set of you know, people, and you aim it at them people, you say, look, we've made a game for you, it's got all the politics, it's got everything you want, it's got all the diversity, it's got everything you need. 
when normal gamers don't turn out and buy it, why are they surprised? Why do they then turn to the your average gamer and say, it's your fault? You're bad for not buying our game. But you didn't aim it at me. You didn't aim it at me. You were telling me that it was for other people, so I didn't buy it. You can't blame me for not turning out. You told me that it wasn't for me. Blame the people that didn't buy it, that you made it for. Sad state. What's the next flop going to be? I wonder. I've already had two in the last two weeks. What's going to be next? Who knows? Be in the next one.